right, everyone, welcome. Uh, we're going to go through some products of combustion, specifically with the natural gas today. I'm going to give you a little intro on the um, on the formula for uh, combustion for natural gas, and then go through a quick example. So here we go. So first of all, we're going to deal with the formula, and we start off with CH4, which is natural gas, and then we add a little oxygen, and we add a little nitrogen. Now together, those two form air. So you take some natural gas, you add some air, give it a spark, and we get a product of combustion coming out the side. So what we get is carbon dioxide and water vapor. Now it's important to note this is water vapor. It's not water, it's just in the vapor state. And this is dealing with um, mid-efficient appliances. When you get to the high-efficient stuff, the water vapor actually turns into water is what you want. You want to condensate. But for us, we're just going to deal with it in the water vapor. And then the uh, nitrogen comes out the other side. Okay, nitrogen goes in, nitrogen comes out. It's inert, and it doesn't do much. All right, so there's your formula. And those three combined are what form the products of combustion. Now, what we're actually looking for in all this, what we're trying to derive, is the one thing we always forget. And that is heat, okay, energy. That's what we're trying to get here. So there you go. There's the formula for the perfect combustion of natural gas. All right. Now, what we want to do is figure out what's the ratio or relationship between what goes in and what comes out. Okay. So there you go. You have one CH4, and you can read the rest. 202 and so on and so forth. Now, how this works is if we start with this. For every one CH4 that goes in, one CO2 or carbon dioxide goes out. And for us, for the most part, what we're dealing with is cubic feet. So what we can say is for every one cubic foot of natural gas that goes in, we get one cubic foot of carbon dioxide coming out. All right. Now it's the same thing, same concept. For every one cubic foot of natural gas going in, we get two cubic feet of the water vapor. You kind of see the pattern here. And we end up getting eight cubic feet of nitrogen. Okay, for every one cubic foot of CH4 that goes in. Now the idea here is that the you cannot gain or lose uh, energy so whatever's going in is coming out it's just coming out in a different format all right now what we should do is let's go and get to a just a quick example here of this how this works so oh look at that before i forget the key to the whole thing the key to the products of combustion is that it's based on flow rate you have to find a flow rate in cubic feet per hour or maybe in cubic meters per hour but one of the two. So now we can get to an example here. All right, there we go. So an appliance has a rated input of 200,000 BTUs an hour, and it's firing on natural gas. What are the expected products of combustion? So according to that key, the first thing we've got to do is actually find a flow rate. So how we do that is by this formula. Flow rate is equal to the appliance input divided by the calorific value of the gas being used. Now, the input we know was 200,000 from the question. The calorific value of gas or natural gas that we're going to use is 1,000 BTUs per cubic foot. So every cubic foot of natural gas contains 1,000 BTUs. Now we're assuming we're in low pressure here. We're not in high pressure, just low. So that's, that's, the, way it, uh, that's the way it works out, 1,000 BTUs per cubic foot. So what we get is? 200 cubic feet. So we're going to follow the same ratio, the same idea, when we're calculating what's coming out the other side. So, if we have 200 cubic feet of CH4 going in, and it's a one-to-one -one ratio with the carbon dioxide, well, then we're going to get 200 cubic feet per hour of carbon dioxide. By the same logic, we're going to get twice that for the water vapor at 400 cubic feet per
per hour. So 200 just times 2. And for the nitrogen, it's going to be 200 times 8, or 1,600 cubic feet per hour. All right? And that's it. That's how you figure out the products of combustion.